Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. But before we get started guys, if you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button and help us on the journey to 30,000 subscribers for midway through January. But anyways, with that all said and done, let's rock and roll. So, the system we've got today is from the user Mr. Eyeball Music in Discord, so a massive thank you to them for sending their system in. And their system is called the Go Go. Uh, Bizclo system, I think is how you say that. Let's go ahead and uh, get up. It should be here. There it is. So let's go ahead and have a look at what we have got here. Right. Hello. Okay. Right. Here we go. Oh. So apparently this system ties in with his previous system from quite a while ago. So it should be interesting. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Right. Got the hiccups. <laughs> Right, um, this system is home to eight planets and a few dwarf planets. Okay, so the first of the planets, star itself as well. Pretty bog standard star there. Right, so the first of the planets. So we've got um, Angeets here. It's a planet um, that is a scorch entirely locked in its orbit around the star. Okay, so I'll see very, very hot here, 620 degrees. The camera transitions are so smooth now, I really like that. Okay, so a barren grey world for the second planet. Kangoo here. Okay. Next up, we have got this object here. Uh, a pinkish planet that used to be larger. It was hit by summer, which tore off material before summer was exiled to the outer belt. Okay. There's that. Next up, we've got Stopsy here. Custom textures, I'm liking. Okay. It's a desert world. Huge dust storms are common place here. So we've got a Mars sort of look-alike. Okay. Also got a moon as well. Mortis. There it is there. Okay. Right, so next up we have got Cod over here. The first household planet. Its plant life is made up of ferns and large leaf uh, plants which generate photosynthesis uh, purple light. Of which photosynthesis purple light. Cool. Have a little look underneath it there. So there it is there. Got some different coloured oceans on it as well. Check that out. So that's the water there. Nice. So there we are. And it also has one little moon as well. Okay. Oh, got a second moon as well. There you go. Cool. Right, next up we've got Esturia. It's an Earth-like planet whose plants are brown. Humans inhabit, but still in their classical period. Okay. So that's this one here. Okay. Alrighty, there's some uh, lights as well, looking good. Okay. And also one moon as well. Looking very nice. Okay, then we got a uh, duo over here. It's a subterrain that has many crushing atmosphere composed mainly of sulfur dioxide and ammonia nitrate. Its surface resembles a swamp or marsh, except toxic to humans. Crab like animals scut around the ground here with their many talons that encircle their disc shaped bodies. Alrighty, so there it is there. Looking good. There's all of the uh, all of the moons as well. All pretty bog stand looking. I love the way the camera turns out. That is really cool. Alright, so there's that. Now next up we got uh, uh, K-Neb here. It's cold, dead world, similar to Mars in size and nature. It once had liquid water but froze into snow on ice. Okay. Cool. Cool. And it says the humans from the Fuka systems, that's one of his previous systems, uh, will contact the uh, Estrians in a few centuries. Then the Federation of Earth will unite the two later on. Cool. It's also got two more planets with no descriptions as well. Okay. Or well, dwarf planets out here, I should say. So here it is. Has one there. Second one over here. And uh, lastly, I think there's one more in the corner over here. That's Sommer. In the outer gas or outer asteroid belt. So there we are. And that does it for this system. So pretty short and sweet system. So there's our lineup here. So there we go. Only had about eight objects in it or eight planets in it, two dwarfs. So there they all are there. So quite an interesting little lineup there. Nice little bit of reading um, to it as well. But um, yeah, a little short on the shorter side. But anyways, yeah, that, with that all said and done, that does it for today's video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. Like I said, let's see if we can go for 30,000 subscribers before um, the midway through January. But again, yeah, massive thank you to the creator of this system, Mr. Eyeball Music, for sending this system in. And yeah, guys, with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.